Hello and welcome to Salt's Vision. I'm Jimmy and this is Animal Crossing A New Horizons. Today we're going to be doing something a bit special. We're going on our first ever villager hunt. Let's just get through Isabel's broadcast. Hello, it's 3.53pm uh, on Thursday, January 1st. There's no news today. Oh, okay. And it was catch the cooking show. I don't care about the cooking show. I don't care about baked salmon. I mean, I do like salmon, but I don't care about it. Isabel, please. Isabel, please. Isabel, please. I don't care. Whenever Isabel doesn't have any news, she'll talk about really mundane things like finding socks behind a dry or doing with video chats with the parents and stuff like that. Let's get on mail first. I've got some mail here. Um, oh, we've got uh, KK Rockabilly. I bought that yesterday. KK Rockabilly. It's a great song. I like it. Before I do the village hunt, I just want to sort out my inventory just quickly. I've found some wallpaper and flooring in the uh, recycle box. Let's just see what that looks like. White iron parquet flooring. Uh, I want to keep the flooring because it matches my rug, so that flooring is never going to change. Let's just store that in there. And purple desert tile wall. Um, oh, okay, what well, the window is back at least. And it's also, I like the vibe here of the black and the purple. That really fits. I'm going to keep that. So let's uh, store this dojo wall. My plant and my brother's iron had like 100,000 miles left over. And I used them to print out loads and loads of tickets. Well, not loads, but I've got 90 here. Of course, 90 tickets is nothing compared to some of the bigger Animal Crossingers. But it's a start. I mean, I want to keep it small. So let's withdraw 20. So not much has changed since I was last year. <laughs> These plants are still here. I found a popcorn machine. Well, actually, I think I bought a popcorn machine and I put it there. We're going to go to the museum now. And Oh, hello, Lopez. Lopez has uh, moved in now. He's here. Ciao, Badoom. Let's chat. There's nothing like winter on one, but I'm just basking at Jimmy. Okay, good luck with that, Lopez. We're just going to give away these fish just quickly. Uh, that's just the first thing I need to do because, you know, I need this space. Let's just uh, get rid of those things. I've got a squid, I've got a horse mackerel, I've got a black bass. I think I already had the black bass on me. And uh, a bitterling and I think a yellow perch. That's it. Okay, that's it. Thanks, bladders. Take those fish. Enjoy them. Have a good day. The last thing I want to do is go back in here because I think I have enough miles now to buy an extra row of space in my inventory. Redeem 8,000 miles for ultimate pocket stuffing? Why, I'd love to. Redeem. Sadly, this is the biggest that we can make it, but hey, four rows of stuff. I think it's like four rows of ten, so four times in total. It's all right. That's enough space. I've mastered the art of organizing. I bet I can carry a lot of stuff now. Oh, yes, I can. And as always, we're going to buy the song. Let's see what song they're selling in the shop today. They are selling... Reggae! Hey, hey, let's buy a KK Reggae. And that'll be it for now. Okay, so let's go to my airport and start the hunt. I completely forgot. Let's talk infrastructure. I need to put another plot of land down. If you don't put a plot of land down, if there aren't any free spaces on your island, then villagers will not appear on Mystery Island. Sell some land. There you go. So you help prep some land for a future home. I do have a charge small fee of 10,000 bells. Yeah, it's worth it. That sounds okay. Sure will. I'll just hand over the housing kit. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the, the housing kit. No, there's nothing else. Let's go. By the way, Jimmy, as I mentioned, I'm counting on you. When you have the time, just ask what should I do and I'll share the... Okay, I don't need to do anything else right now. I just want to put this house down. So this is the housing plot for villager number seven. They're going to move in here. I'm going to find them on an island. I don't know who they're going to be, but whoever we find, that's who we're going to move in. Uh, where should village number seven move to? Let's see. I think I could put it right over here next to Jambet's house. Um, probably in the corner here. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I'm going to move it here. There's a peach tree here, which is going to be deleted, but whatever. Let's build it here. I picked a spot for a home to be built in the future. A new island neighbor is potentially a new island friend. Yes. Can you guess what I'm doing? I am... <laughs> I'm sitting, villain. Gotta stop and smell the flowers now and then, you know. Running around everywhere out, don't you think? Yes, I do think about that. Okay, uh, got some miles for talking to people. Talk to your neighbours, got 400 miles. Anything else? Oh yeah, true friends. Okay, so that's a milestone that you get when you make a proper friend on island. I talked to Renee enough times and now I'm good friends with her. I thought I'd be good friends with Rudy by now, but I've talked to her more than Rudy, I think. Last thing I want to do is put this pond smelt down here, just over here. Uh, do yeah, I don't want to show it off. I'm going to put it down here because I've already donated one and I don't need an extra pond smelt. Let's just leave it here. Another thing, my brother had uh, some spare flowers on his island. I just came over here and planted some roses and hyacinths here, including some black roses. The black roses are quite rare. You have to like cross speed flowers quite a lot of times to get some black roses. So now we're ready to begin the hunt. Let me just tell you quickly who I'm looking for. So right now I've got six out of eight personalities on my island. I've got Jock, Sicily, Lazy, Peppy, Normal and Smug. The last two are Cranky and Snooty. So I'm going to be looking for a cranky or snooty villager. Who am I looking for exactly? What individuals do I want? Well, let me tell you. In the last video, I mentioned the AnimalCrossingPortal.com tier list, which ranks all the villagers in the game by popularity. Last time I looked at the smugs, now let's take a look at the crankies. The most popular cranky villagers are Octavian and Apollo, and although they're very popular, I kind of don't really want an octopus on my island, and the eagles, 
Uh, not really for me. There's quite a few cranky wolves in the game. Lobo's on my brother's island right here. But the one I'm after is Wolfgang. He looks really cool. He looks like Lobo's cousin. Just below Wolfgang is Kabuki. And although I already have the cat on my island, I love Kabuki's design. Look at his menacing markings. He just looks great. I love Kabuki. I'm, I'd love to have him. And below him is Static. I love Static as well. He's like a lightning squirrel. Awesome. I'd love to have Static. Roscoe, I already have a horse. And although he's cool, he doesn't really add much that Renee doesn't add already. Tier 5 doesn't really have much that speaks to me. Although I do like Butch. He's like a Rottweiler. He's a great villager. I'd love to have him on my island. Island. And tier 6 doesn't really have much either, although there is one exception, Monty. He is my birthday twin, December 7th. I'd like to have him, and also he's a monkey, and my avatar on the internet for a long time was a monkey, so he'd be fitting. I actually have two birthday twins, with Buzz being the other one, but Buzz, he's an eagle, and he's not nowhere near as good, in my opinion. Now let's look at the snooty villagers. A lot of people love Judy, but I don't really like her eyes. They're kind of too shiny anime-like for me. They're not, it's not really my kind of thing. Anger, however, is perfection. She's an Egyptian cat. She's got a great design, little snake on her head. She is worth her weight in gold. I would adore Anchor. Diana here is beautiful and although I already have a deer on my island, she'd be a great partner for Lopez, so I like Diana. Whitney's great but uh, her, her design is a bit plain in my opinion. Olivia, she's okay. Julia is a beautiful, she's like a peacock. Awesome, I'd love to have Julia. There's two more snooty wolves in tier 4, Freya and Vivian. Vivian looks pretty beautiful as well. I'd love to have Vivian. Okay, she's on my list. Tier 5, there's nothing really here for me. Although Amelia, I mentioned that I wasn't really a fan of the eagles. I kind of lied. Amelia is also beautiful. I'd love to have her. Finally, tier 6 doesn't really have much to write home about but if I had to pick one villager from here, it would be Bree the mouse. Bree is one of the cutest mice in the game and the mice in general are so underrated. I don't know why people don't like them. So out of these snooty villagers and cranky villagers, who are we going to find? Let's find out. The only real rule here is that I'm looking for a cranky or a snooty. That's the only personality that I'll take. But uh, it could be anyone, really. The villagers at the top of the screen there, that's who I'm looking for. But I might not find them. I might find some completely different. But, you know, that's my ideal scenario. So let's go. And the hunt is on. 20 tickets. A cranky villager or a snooty villager. Who's it going to be? Right, island number one, island number one. Let's hear it for island number one. Thanks, Wilbur. Who is going to be on a first island? Who is going to be our first villager? We're going to see on this villager hunt. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, hello. Tasha. Well, there's a fresh face. Are you visiting for another island as well? Of course you are. My friends call me Tasha, and you are Jimmy, all the way from Mumba, even. Isn't that fascinating? Well, we haven't been here a short time, but I do hope we get to know each other better. I'm always down to dish. Okay, so Tasha, I know who she is. She's a squirrel. And she's, I looked at her, she's pretty good. I think this is a great first thing to find. And she's snooty. So I could take Tasha, but this is only the first island. Honestly, I'd definitely take Tasha if I was like down to my last ticket or down to last five ticks or something. So it's a bit too soon, but yeah. Uh, nice to meet you, Tasha. You're a great villager and I'm proud to have met you, but... Sorry, it's, it's too early. It's too early. I can't I can't give up now. On the plus side, we do have uh, some fruit here. This is my sister fruit, pears. So on my brother's iron, his sister fruit was also pears. Um, and I got pears again. Sorry, Tasha. I'm just, uh, Tasha, I'm picking up these pears. I'm picking up these pears. Yeah, a great first villager. Tasha, I like her. Overall, the squirrels are some of my favourite species. Marshall is the most popular one by far. Uh, there's also some other popular squirrels like Poppy and Sylvan and Filbert. And even the less popular squirrels like Callie. I've got Callie, my brother's island, and she's never leaving. She's absolutely adorable. I love her big red cheeks. Um, even she's great. Yeah, I'm just collecting some pears right now. I think this is going to be the last tree I do, because then we're going to have like 10, like, well, three stacks of 10 pears. Let's take a look. Yeah, 30 pears. I don't need any more than that. I'm going to plant some pears at home and grow some more. As well as my sister fruit, we've also got my sister flower as well. My sister flower is Mums. On my brother's island, his sister flower was uh, Hyacinth. His main flower is Lily, and his sister flower is Hyacinth. Here it's winter flowers and the sister flowers mums. Pretty good. I'm going to bring a couple of these flowers home. I'm just going to bring like uh, three uh, yellow and three white. I've got red ones already because they were given to me as a gift. I'm just going to take those flowers and then we're going to move on to the next island. Okay, I think we've got everything we came here for. We're good to go. It's a shame I couldn't take Tasha. I mean, I would take her, if I was, like I said, if I was down to my last ticket or something, I'd definitely take her. But it's too early. I don't want to in the hunt right now. Bye, Tasha the Squirrel. It was lovely meeting you. Before I move on to island number two, I'm going to plant these flowers and drop some pears outside because I need some space for other stuff. You never know what I might find on the other island. I think that should do it. One more white flower, one more white mum. There we go. Now let's move on to island number two. Part of me is already starting to regret not taking Tasha, but it was too early. I wish I'd found her later on. Island number two. Let's hear it for island number two. Let's see who we are going to find here. Oh, hello. I think I've seen him before. Hello. Spike. Don't believe we met. Name's Spike. Thanks for meeting you here. Wherever that is, I might find in that part. But so, so uh, yeah, he's cranky. He's one of the cranky villagers that I looked at. Uh, I think he was in my campsite on my previous island before my brother's island. And we already had a rhino tank. He was our starter jock, so we didn't take him. He looks pretty cool. He's got like, a scar on his head. He's got uh, gold horns and gold ears. He's pretty He's pretty cool. But uh, as far as cranky villagers go, he's cranky. He does fit my description. 
he's not exactly who I want. I don't really want any uh, rhinos. No, like, I'm not really a big fan of the rhinos generally. But uh, yeah, nice to meet you, uh, Spike. I'm just going to shake some trees in case I find an item. Oh, there's a wasp. <laughs> That's not quite what I wanted, but I'm going to catch the wasp. Wasps, they do sell for quite a lot. They sell for 2,500 bells each. It's worth catching them just to get the uh, extra money. I think that tree at the back there definitely has an item on it. Yep, I was correct. Every uh, Mr. Ryan has at least one tree with an item on it, and it's a great way to get free items. So let's see what this is. An arcade seat. So that's very good. I could put that next to my pinball machine. I haven't put the pinball machine down yet, but uh, when I do, I've got a nice seat to go with it. See you, Spike. Nice knowing you. Bye. On to island number three. The annoying thing about Village Hunts is that you can't fly directly to another Mystery Island after leaving one. You have to go back to the airport every time and then fly back out there. One commonly requested quality of life update is to fly directly from Mystery Island to another Mystery Island. And uh, I don't think Nintendo's going to do it. They're not interested. They don't understand the, the joy and the beauty of Villager Hunts. I wish they did. But anyway, here's island number three. Let's see who we find on island number three. Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Who is it going to be? Who is going to be? Oh, hello. Okay, it's a duck. We have a duck. It's a duck. Hello, little Miss Duck. I think she's a, a girl. Oh, she is. Wow, I didn't expect to meet anyone. Anyway. Okay, she's Peppy. Nice to meet you. I'm Pom Pom. So Pom Pom, she's a, a Peppy Duck. Um, I'm glad to have met her, I guess. I don't think there's really room for two Peppy Villages on my island, like, just yet. Like, in the, maybe in the future, but not right now. Okay, there's my item. I was looking for it. We have, this time, a homework set. Oh, absolutely thrilling. I, I'm, I'm so thrilled to have a homework set. I love homework. So that's Pom Pom. Not who I'm looking for, but decent villager. Um, okay. Bye, Pom Pom. Island number four coming up. And island number four is a bamboo island. We don't have any bamboo on our island yet. We can get some bamboo. Hooray. We have two down. Doctor the Time Island. Delta Oscar. Okay, whatever. Island number four is a bamboo island. We're going to dig up some bamboo trees and plant some bamboo back on our main island. Uh, just after this, we're going to see who lives here first, though. Or who's hanging around here. Who is this? Who is this? Lionel. Uh, he's smug. I thought this was the third line, but here we are. My name's Lionel. I'm here on vacation, and you are Jimmy from Wumper? Precisely, you are. I don't really like any of the lines. I've taken a look at the lines in the game, and none of them really, uh, click with me at all. I'm, I don't really want a lion. But, hey, Lionel. Right, now let's dig up some bamboo, shall we? We've got some things here. This is a bamboo shoot. So you can plant that in the ground, it'll grow into a bamboo tree. Uh, we could dig up the trees themselves and plant them as well. We'd want some extra trees, but eh, I don't really want to do that. There should be a couple more around here. Let's just dig up this uh, shoot. There you go. Here's another one, I think. Yep, there's another one. Any more? Oh, there's another one over here. Uh, <laughs> come on. There we go. Any more? Okay, there's one more. I think there's five in total. I think when you go to a bamboo island, there's always like five shoots to dig up. I think that's enough. Like I said, I could dig up the trees themselves and uh, replant them, but... Uh, I'm going to start off small with some, like, five trees. That should be enough. Anyway, uh, bye, Lionel. Island number five coming up. Island number five, here we are. I still regret taking Tasha. I really do wish I'd found her later on. But um, it's too late now. She's gone. We might find her again. Very slim chance, but who knows. Oh, uh, hello. Um, I don't know who this is. Let's just go over and talk to this person. He looks like an eagle. Hello, um, Keaton. Hello there. Um, he's smug as well. Just not Lionel. Another smug. I'm an eagle about town. It's, okay, whatever. Um, nah, I mean, even I wasn't looking for crankies and snooties. Keaton doesn't really look like who I'd want. Let's find oh, another item. A mounted blue marlin. Okay, so it's like a, a fish that you put above your fireplace, like a, a catch of the day. And it looks like there's a recipe over there. You can find recipes on uh, Mr. Arns as well, um, very rarely. Here's another recipe. Let's pick it up. Let's see what recipe this is. Let's open the bottle. And this recipe is from Fauna. Okay, she's a very popular deer. She's one of the most popular villagers in the game. She's a, a normal deer. This new deer recipe is inspired by seeing a novel. Okay, whatever. Let's see what it is. A knitted grass backpack. Nice. It's like a backpack made of grass. So, uh, nice to meet you, Keaton. Uh, not quite who I want, but, uh, you know, you're all right. You're all right. Yeah, I, shouldn't, I think I kind of bad-mouthed him a bit. He's not bad, but Keaton is not bad. Uh, okay, island number six. Island number six is right here. Let's see who's here on island number six. Let's go. Let's see who it is. Let's see who it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look who it is. <laughs> it's Rodney. It's Rodney. <laughs> so for those of you who aren't familiar with uh, Animal Crossing culture, Rodney has been for a long time one of the most hated villagers in Animal Crossing. He's a smug hamster who's like blue with freckles and lazy looking eyes and pink hair. Uh, people don't like him because he looks ugly and, you know, he's smug so it doesn't really match his face. This guy's a legend in his own right. A lot of people hate him. Some people love him and... The people who love him, you know, more power to them. But whether you love him or hate him, he is a legend, Rodney. I, you know, I kind of like him in that regard. His catchphrase is Laham. <laughs> He's so smug. Oh no, another wasp. Let's catch that. Here we go. Here's our item. Uh, it is a, uh, a breaker. 
Okay, that's like a, a breaker switch which you put on the wall to like trip the power. Shady Shakedown, we have shaken 10 trees. Wow, I've got 10 items out of trees. A thousand miles, very generous, thanks. To be perfectly honest, if I was looking for another smug villager, I'd probably take Ronnie just for the last, just because, you know, he's very controversial as a villager. And, you know, I just want to, I like the idea of having a villager which uh, a lot of people don't like. Just, you know, because I think they deserve love. Every villager deserves love, no matter who they are. And Rodney is one of those ones. So it's an absolute joy meeting you, Rodney. I'm sorry I couldn't take you. Have fun out here in the snow. I'm going to move on to island number seven. <laughs> that was brilliant. And here we have island number seven. Is it going to be Lucky? Let's see if it's Lucky. I mean, there is actually a villager called Lucky. He's like a dog. He's like a mummy dog. Uh, so it could be Lucky. Um, but is it really going to be Lucky? It's... Oh, ho, ho, ho. Look who this is. Look who it is. This guy is very famous. Hello, Eric. There's someone on this island. Oh, you're listening to? Oh, um, I'm Eric. Yo, Jimmy from Wumper. Neat. I didn't expect to make a friend here. This island is so cool. Chow down. So this is Eric. His character is Chow down. He's very popular. He's a lazy, like, uh, deer. Well, he's a deer, but he's also, like, a, he looks like a moose or a, an elk. Just look at him. There's, there's absolutely no secret as to why people love him. He's a, a lazy deer with, you know, with a cute face. If I wasn't restricting myself to a cranky or a snooty, I would definitely take Eric. So, it's kind of sad that I'm going to have to leave him. You're probably going to be raging at me for not taking Eric, but, uh, like, that's my decision. And although Big Top is nowhere near as good as Eric, I do want to focus on getting the other two personalities first before I get repeats of the other ones I already have. So, sadly, Eric is going to have to stay here. I regret to say that. And my net broke. Why? Let's just make another one really quickly. Flimsy net. We're not going to bother making a, a proper net with an iron nugget. I don't have any nuggets on me right now. Well, the only thing we need the net for is to catch wasps in case they appear. So we don't really need to like have it fully prepared. And there's my item right there, right behind the wasp nest uh, tree. Here it is. It's a um, a microwave. Nice. All right. It was nice meeting you, Eric. I'm so sorry. I'm so so sorry that I can't take you. I'm so sorry to all those watching that I'm not taking Eric. I really would love to take Eric. If I wasn't looking for a cranky or snooty, I would definitely take Eric. He'd be like number one or close to number one on my list of priority to, to take. I'm feeling really bad about this. I am feeling really bad about this. I am leaving behind Eric. I have no soul. I have no soul. Oh man, I feel so filthy right now. Oh god, okay. No going back now. Bye, Eric. Alright. Island number 8. So here's how it's going to work. If I get to like the last 5 tickets, island 16 to 20, and I don't find someone that I'm looking for by then, I'm going to take the next villager which I either like the look of, regardless of the personality, or the next cranky or snooty villager that I find, even if I don't like how they look. It's either going to be a cranky or snooty, or someone who I just like. Like, I can't like keep restricting myself because then I'm just going to be using these tickets, leaving people behind that I really like and it's just going to be a waste of time. So I want to actually find someone good here. Yeah, I don't think, I'm looking at his face, I don't think this is who I want to see right now. Who are you? Ike. He's got a very deep voice, wow. He's cranky so he does fit the cranky personality but um, Ike, nah. Alright then, island number 8 is Ike and um, not quite who I want. Oh well. Oh, another wasp. There had to be another wasp, didn't there? Gotcha. Oh, there it is. Okay, okay. This item is a rat and towel basket. Nice. All right, we're done here. Nice to meet you, Ike. Uh, not who I want. I mean, you are cranky, so you are close, but <laughs> I don't really want Ike. I've already got a bear in mind anyway. So uh, let's move on to island number nine. Island number nine, as everyone knows, a nine is a magic number, so this could be a magic villager. Let's see who we find on island number nine. We have... Uh, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Oh, hello. Um... <laughs> uh, interesting. I uh, don't think I've seen her before. Mayel. I don't believe we've met. I'm Mayel, and you are? She's snooty, so she does fit the description. Um, nice to meet you, Mayel. Are you looking for a friendly face? I know where to find you. Um, she's got green eyelids. I'm not fond of the green eyelids and her bowl haircut. I don't, I don't really know. I don't really know. I mean, she's not bad, but Mayel... Not my vibe, I'm sorry. Another wasp, seriously, these wasps are everywhere. I did get some miles though for catching that wasp. Netting better. It's so impressive when you catch some five wasps in a row. Yeah, five wasps in a row without uh, getting stung. A thousand miles, nice. When I do these longer village hunts where I do like 100 ticks or something like that in the future, I'm not going to be getting items from every island because, you know, it's going to take a long time. It's going to make the recording like several hours long. It's going to like break my computer right here. So, a mod office chair though. I think I've already got one of those. Nice to meet Mayel. Uh, let's go now. Bye. On island number 10 is incoming. Island number 10, we're halfway there and it's another bamboo island that could be lucky. You know, you never know. Let's see who is here on island number 10. Island number 10, who is this? Who is this? I've no idea where they are. Uh, oh, ho, ho, ho! Hello, it's nice to see you. Nice to see you, Fuchsia. <laughs> oh, I missed you, buddy. I missed you. So Fuchsia was on my brother's island for a long time. She was uh, my brother's starter, Sicily. 
and she is adorable. She's a cute pink deer. She loves to sing. This place is so calm. Let's get my head straight. Exactly what I needed, precious. Oh, I love you. I love you just so much. I had a feeling that I'd come across one of my brother's islanders on one of my village hunts on this island. And there we go. I've done it. I found Fuchsia again. Just look at her. She's, she's, she's so precious. And she calls you precious. And, you know, she's just the best. Fuchsia, I'm sorry I can't take you. I'm just digging up more bamboo shoots because, you know, more bamboo shoots, more bamboo trees. Finding her could bring good luck for this uh, village hunt. So let's see if we can find a good cranky or a good snooty. Or basically someone that's getting to the point where we're going to have to, like, start uh, not being so restrictive and just find someone that we like, regardless of their personality. So we've got five more bamboo shoots now. That should be enough. It was absolutely uh, delightful meeting you again, Fuchsia, to be reunited with you. I know this is uh, technically a, it's a, it's a different Fuchsia, not the same one that had in the island, so she doesn't uh, recognise me, but I recognise her. It was lovely meeting you again, Fuchsia. I, I, I love you so much, and... Yeah, let's move on to island number 11. So I took a little break and it's 10 o'clock now. <laughs> we need to finish this hunt tonight. If we don't finish it in time, Tomlet will fill the plot for us with someone who we potentially really don't like. So we need to avoid that. We need to find someone ourselves. And I forgot to mention, we now have the Able Sisters tailor shop. Remember in the last episode, we put a house down for Lopez. I put a plot down for the shop, Able Sisters, and it's here now. And we can't go in there because it closed at nine, but maybe the next episode we'll go in there and buy some clothes. Let's continue the hunt now. Here we are, island number 11, we're past halfway point and it's starting to get a bit desperate now. We really need to find a cranky villager or snooty villager or someone that we really like in the next 10 tickets. If we don't, then, well, I've got more ticks in the storage I could use or I could just let Tom pick for me, but I want to find someone myself. So let's go, let's see who's over here. Who's this? Uh, I don't think I've seen this person before. Oh! Stitches! Nice to meet you, I'm Stitches, you're j- oh man! Oh, cool, we have stitches. Let's have some fun together while we're here stuffing. Oh, okay, I've got really lucky on this hunt. I got really lucky. I found stitches. <laughs> All right, okay, so stitches is definitely one of the most popular villagers. He's like a, a cub, as you can see, and he's based on like a stuffed doll. He's like a stuffed bear. He's so cute and innocent, stitches. M many people love him. I love him as well. Oh, man, do I really want stitches? If I take him, will I regret it? If I leave him, will I regret it? Oh, man, I don't know. There are players of Animal Crossing who spend hundreds, if not up to a thousand tickets on finding the villagers they really want and people have spent in the past oh no okay that was close people were spending hundreds trying to find stitches and i found him on like on number 11 so i got super lucky even though he wasn't who i was looking for and that's why i feel bad leaving him okay we've got a book from a tree uh, i don't need any more books but i'll take the book we have another recipe as well okay so this is a lucky island with stitches we've got a book and another recipe let's see what this is from harry okay um gong Thanks for the gong, Harry. Oh, man. This is going to hurt. This one is going to really, really hurt. This is going to be painful. Um, okay, okay. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Too late now. We can't go back. We're leaving Stitches. I'm, I'm not taking him, but he's so popular and... Oh, man. Yeah. That that smarts. That, that really does smart. Island number 12. Here we are. I'm still feeling the pain of leaving Stitches. I mean, we, we left Eric as well. He's also very popular. We left Fuchsia. She's pretty popular and I had her before, so it was nice meeting her. Let's hope that the Stitches encounter brings us luck for the rest of the hunt. We need to find someone good now. I should have taken Stitches. Oh, well. Too late now. Let's see who we have here. Oh, hello. Who's this? Who is this? Oh, we are getting so lucky on this hunt. We are getting so lucky. We're finding all the best villagers and they're not even villagers that I want. Meringue. I wasn't expecting to meet anyone on this. Oh, okay. We got the, we got the Strawberry Shortcake Rhino. She's like tier one, tier two in like the tier lists. A lot of people love her. Uh, she's, she's got strawberry for a horn. She has a cute bakery-like house. I'm finding all the best villagers and they're not even ones that I'm looking for. People out there are spending hundreds finding these things and I'm not taking them. I'm, I'm getting, I'm finding them like the 12th ticket. So many people want meringue. So many people want stitches and, and Eric. And I, I'm finding them like no sweat at all. An ironing set. Okay, let's take an ironing set. Okay. Sorry, meringue. I love you. You're awesome. I would take you if I wasn't looking for a cranky or snooty. But I'm going to have to leave you. Bye, Meringue. This is the most unprecedented villager hunt ever. I, I did not expect to find all these popular villagers that I wouldn't even be taking because they're not who I want. This is just crazy. I'm deeply sorry to anyone out there who loves these villagers and is, like, shaking their fist at the screen because I'm not taking them. I am so, so sorry. Island number 13. Lucky for some. Let's see what we find on this island. Is it going to be good? Is it going to be someone interesting? Is it going to be another super popular villager, which I'm forced to leave behind? Hey, I think I know who that is. I think I know who this is. Hey, welcome back, buddy. It's good to see you again. Tank. <laughs> are you here for survival training? I know who you are. You're Tank. He was my brother's starter jock, along with Future was the starter Sicily. And here he is again. Hello, Tank. All right, nice to meet you. Get back to training, Kapow. <laughs> Ah, oh, Tank, I love you. He did start to get a bit boring after a while. He just kept talking about his muscles and uh, 
Oh, another item. Okay, there's another item. Uh, a light switch. That's good to have in your house. We found three rhinos in this hunt. Spike, Morang, and now Tank. And it's nice to see a familiar face again, because uh, Tank was on mine for such a long time. I'm so used to him. And, you know, he's a, he's a good guy. Sadly, you have to let him go, but there he is again. See you, Tank. All right, let's see if that gives us any luck for the next islands. Let's go home. And let's go to island number 14. Number 14. Let's hear it for number 14. Let's see what we find in number 14. We have to climb up this giant mountain to get to them. Let's climb up this... Uh, level and the next level who is this right here we have oh uh yeah i've seen this guy before he is a smug villager which i really don't want um chops sorry chops you aren't exactly who i'm looking for zoink i don't really <laughs> i don't really want you sorry he's probably my least favorite smug villager overall i was kind of dreading getting him in the campsite but we got lopez instead so he's really he's a pretty good guy oh no another wasp these things are everywhere there's my item uh right let's see what this is a rat and vanity i'm finding a lot of rat and furniture there's quite a lot of rat and furniture in this uh, game it's like a, a wicker palm tree furniture it looks quite good see your chops <laughs> how's the weather up there all right let's, let's go to honor 15. Island number 15, we are three quarters of the way through and we still haven't found anyone on our list. And we're still, we're starting to get a bit um, desperate now. Oh, hello, who's this? Pango. <laughs> I think she appeared in my campsite at one point on the Brothers Island. I'm Pango, nice to meet you. Hello, Pango. You're not who I want, but I do like you. Well, I'm 15, Pango. Not bad, but not on our list. So let's keep going. Oh, another item, let's see what this is. This is a, I should really look at the item before I pick it up. Shaded floor lamp. Pretty good. So we're down to our last five tickets. We're on island number 16 now. And uh, I'm going to just take the next cranky or sneaky village that I find. Because, you know, I don't, wanna, I don't want this village hunt to be for nothing. We're going to find someone. We're going to find someone. Let's just see who's here on island number 16. Is it someone good? What? Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. What are you doing here? Tank, again. I know who you are, Tank. You were on my brother's island for such a long time. Uh, please stop following me. I don't want to bring you back again. I, I do like you, but I don't want to see you again. Tank. Just, uh, okay, whatever. More wasps. Really? All right. Oh, there's my item right next to it. It is a low screen. Okay, that's like a, a screen you can put between items on a table. It's all right. Not the best item, but it's okay. Okay, Tank. It was nice seeing you again. We're moving to island number 17 now, but uh, you don't have to follow us. Uh, please just, just, just stay here. I don't want you again. No hard feelings. Island 17. Is it cranky? Is it snooty? Is it someone I really like? Because at this point, I just don't care who I take. I just want to take someone who is who just anyone. I don't care anymore. Let's see who it is. Oh, hello. This looks like an interesting island. Who's this? Who is... Wait, who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Uh, okay, that's not a face I expected to see. Uh, Rory. Hello, Rory. He's another jock by the sounds of it. He's a lion. He doesn't quite fit my description of who I want. Uh... Yeah. Oh, look at... Oh, no. Okay. This is a special island. This is Tarantula Island. We have found something quite special here. This island is full of tarantulas. Look at these uh, giant spiders over here. We have to be very careful not to get bitten by these things. Uh, sorry. That was, didn't do that, Rory. So we got a spider over here, a giant tarantula. These tarantulas will charge at you if they see you holding a net. You have to sneak up to them very slowly. Very, very slowly. If you're too fast, they will charge at you. Approach slowly. Slowly. Slowly, 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 slowly. Gotcha! Yeah! I caught a tarantula, yes! Things just got a bit hairy. And we've got miles of that, so let's see what we get. Oh, bugs don't bug me. We caught uh, 10 different types of bugs now. That's good, 300 miles. Oh, uh, uh, okay. I wasn't ready for that. If you have the net out and you just walk around, they'll just charge up to you. I wasn't prepared for... Uh, Getting bitten like that. Uh, hello, Wilbur. Had me worried there, civilian. Oh, uh, yeah, whatever. I I'm, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Leave me alone. I did get moles for that, though. So, uh, I think get moles for getting, like, attacked by a bug. Faint of heart. Okay. 300 miles of getting bitten by a spider. Nice. This island is home to creepy crawlers that make anyone lightheaded. Yes, I was wielding a net, but, um, the bug didn't like that, obviously. Item. Yep, there's another item. Let's see what this one is. Judge's bell. That's good for, like, a boxing ring or a wrestling ring. Uh, I've got miles as well. Let's see what we've got. Is that Shady Shakedown again? Yep, Shady Shakedown. We've got 20 things from trees and 2,000 miles. Great. So this is a pretty rare island. You can find scorpions and or during the summer and autumn you can find scorpions. During the winter and spring you find tarantulas on this island. It's quite a rare island, but you can catch loads of bugs here and sell them for a very high price. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I don't have a lot of space right now. I've got loads of stuff and wasps and you know, I don't really want to drop them here just for the sake of tarantulas. I'm not super desperate for money and I'm not super desperate for Rory either. 
But I'm glad I found this island. It's a pretty, it's a pretty rare island. So uh, yeah, let's go. Island number 18 is a bamboo island. Does that mean something good for us? Let's find out. Let's see who's here, who is here, who's this. It's uh, um, Derwin. Nice to meet you, Derwin. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's have some fun together, Der. Okay, um, he's a duck with glasses. Uh, he's lazy and he's not exactly someone that I'm really uh, coveting right now. So, um, Nice to meet you, Derwin, I guess. I've got 10 bamboo shoots. I don't think I need to get any more. I think that's enough. I'll just leave it at 10. I can always get more later on. Let's just go to island number 19 now. See you, Derwin. He's trying to come with me. He's he's about to walk over the pier. He's trying to come with me. Sorry, Derwin. You're not coming. There's only room for two in this seaplane. The 19th island is here. And, um, yeah, it's starting to come to the crunch now. Only two tickets left. Oh, this is the Money Rock Island. So, rarely you can find an island with Money Rocks over there. All those rocks on that little island over there have money inside them. I'm gonna get some bells from there in just a second, but first let's see who's here. Is this a lucky island? Is this a lucky island? Let's see who we have on this island. We have, oh, uh, hello, who are you? You are Chevre, okay. Chevre is French for goat, and she's a goat, fittingly enough. My name's Chevre. You came away from Wamba? Yes, I did. You're definitely more well-traveled. Yep, okay, thanks, Chevre. She's kind of cute, but uh, again, not my vibe. On the plus side, we have a money rock island on our hands, so let's uh, get a bit richer now. Let's eat this peach and use the shovel and shore this rock and get uh, 8,000 bells. And now it's time to get even more bells from these rocks. Let's just pick up these stones that are in the way and let's get smacking away at these rocks. And there you go, got more than enough money to pay off the first loan now. Low battery, okay, running out of battery in my Joy-Con, I need to charge this. And that's making this even more stressful, I need to find someone quickly, someone quickly on the 20th island. Come on, come on, give me someone good, give me someone good, I don't care who it is. Whoever's on the 20th island, I'm going to be taking, I don't care who it is, I need another villager on the island right now. I should have taken Eric, I should have taken Stitches, I should have taken Meringue. What have I done? I put myself in this situation, this is all my fault. Island number 20, we still haven't found anyone that we like. Uh, what's this, uh, who's here? All right, here's who we have in island number 20. It's a kangaroo, hello. Rooney. Hey, uh, I'm Rooney, came on a whim, but this island doesn't seem half bad. He's cranky. So Rooney is a cranky villager. Not exactly who I'm looking for, uh, as you can see, he's not on my list. But he is cranky, and I did say I'd take the next cranky or snooty village that I found, and here we go. I'm taking him. Hey, Rooney. Come with me. It's just good to step away and look at things from distance sometimes. I'm looking back and wondering if maybe it's time to make up. Yeah, okay, come to my island. And it's also fitting because Wumper is an Australian island in the Crash Bandicoot series. It's, like, it's full of like Australian animals, like Ripperoo, who's a kangaroo. He's a kangaroo who's also blue, like Ripperoo. So it's fitting. Let's get a kangaroo on my island. Hello, Rooney. Uh, you'll come with me. I think that's pretty lucky for me to find him on island number 20. It's a great island. You'll fit right in. Start packing up. You're, you're moving. You're moving. We found Rooney. Not on my list, but he is cranky and I did say I wanted to cranky and here we go, Rooney. I think he's ranked pretty low in the tier list. He's not one of the most popular villagers. He's like tier six in the Animal Crossing Portal tier list, but who cares? It's just a tier list. There are a lot of tier six villagers which deserve more love and I think Rooney could potentially be one of those. Before we go, let's look for the last item on our last island in this villager hunt. Let's see if we find something good. Let's see what's inside this tree. Oh, there's an item. It is a revolving spice rack. I think I've already got one of those. Yeah, I've already got one of those. I got one from uh, the shop, I think. So there we go. I think that's a successful villager hunt. It's not someone who's on my list, but it is a cranky villager. And it is someone who I think deserves a bit more recognition in the community. Rooney the kangaroo. You'll come with me. And I think that's a successful hunt, if I say so myself. And if we look here, we can confirm that the plot has indeed been sold to Rooney. He's now moving in, my seventh villager. I'm glad to have him here on the island soon. And yeah, like I said, I could have had someone better, could have had Wolfgang, could have had Kabuki or Static, someone that I really wanted. But you know, beggars can't be choosers, especially when you're running out of tickets. So Rooney is, you know, I might go to like him. He seems pretty cool. And yeah, I think that's a great village hunt. I think that's a great successful day in Animal Crossing. So if you enjoyed watching the video as much as I enjoyed making it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And make sure to hit that bell icon so you can be the first to know when I next upload. With that all said and done, I think it's time to wrap up. Thanks for tuning to Solus Vision, and goodbye.